Bonus scenes are incredibly helpful to authors for their marketing, for their author careers, for engaging with their community and really starting conversation. And I have a hack for you authors as a multi-time best-selling author who does tons of bonus content and does not run out of time to do all of these things. So when it comes to bonus scenes, yes, you can write something new. Yes, you can write something that's unique. Yes, you can write something that is totally unconnected to the book that you have written. However, I want to save you some time and effort. You can do that. You should do that. You should have some of that. I do have some of those. But you can also take the shortcut. If you have a book that people like and they want to see more of, whether you're using this as your lead magnet for your newsletter or you're hiding it on your website in your social media somewhere, you're using it as some kind of reward or bonus, you want to make sure you're giving your audience more of the book and the characters that they already love. So instead of reinventing the wheel and having to do something brand new, get into the book you've already written. Go find a scene that is really good, really juicy, really connected with your audience and has multiple characters in it. Doesn't matter who. It could be the love interest. It could be the best friend. It could be the enemy. It doesn't matter. As long as there's somebody whose point of view we are not in in the book, you are golden on this one. Go find that scene. And I want you to copy the entire scene and go to another Word document and paste it in. Just that scene. Okay, here's where the hack comes in. All you are doing is swapping the point of view. So if the story is written in the main character's perspective and the best friend is also in that scene, now the scene is from the best friend's perspective. You already have the scene written. You just have to tweak the dialogue and some of the world building. You have the bulk of the scene already done. Now we're just getting their opinion and their perspective. So if they are in a conversation where the best friend is trying to convince the girl to go out with the guy and the main character, we've gone through her point of view, why she should, why she shouldn't, is she interested, does she like him, all of those things. Now we're seeing it from the best friend's perspective. Why she wants them to go out together. The mannerisms in the main character. So this is a really good examination of the main character because the main character can't see themselves. They might not notice the way that their eye twitches or the way that their grin kind of ticks up at the corners when that other person mentions their love interest name. They might not see the way that they are moving or reacting to things, but the best friend does. So now we get to go in and leave the lines the exact same way. We change the dialogue tags. We change some of the world building from what they're thinking or how they're reacting. And we get more of a perspective on what that lead character is thinking or what they're doing. We get to see them through the eyes of somebody else, which gives us such a deeper connection to that story and to that character. So now you already have a scene written. You just have to go in and tweak and change certain things and add in a little world building, add in a little bit of their perspective, add in a little bit of that internal conversation going on so we can get to know both the lead character and the best friend a little bit better. Now you've got this big bulk of a uh, scene that you can give out to people from the other character's perspective. And if you do it from the love interest perspective, you better believe everybody. Let me knock it on your door for that one. So it saves you time and effort because you already did the work. All you're doing is tweaking and adjusting to a different POV. Half the work or more is already done for you. And now you have something super spicy and good that will get your fans' attention and get them to take action to get that. Be it signing up for your newsletter, searching on your website, going through a game on your social media, or just showing up to earn those freebies, however it is that you have that set up. We love a good bonus scene, but we love even more when you don't have to redo an entire thing. You just get to tweak what you've already done. You could start from the beginning. You could start from scratch and create, and we love that. But when you don't have time, when you're busy, or when you need something that's just auto-connected to your audience, this is a real easy way to do it. Drop your questions down below and follow along for more as we continue to help you navigate the world of your author life from your writing to your marketing to your publishing to make sure that your marketing especially is as easy as possible so you can live your best author life while also still living a life. We'll see you in tomorrow's episode.